Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic clickable develop content in Microsoft Excel. Why is dynamic? Because whenever you create a new worksheet, it will be included in your table of content. Even if you update the name of your worksheet, it will be included in the table of content and you don't have to do anything. It will do it automatically. Let's get started. <music> First, we need to create our first worksheet and we need to rename it as index. Take a look at the spelling here. The first I is in capital. It's really important because we are going to use the exact name in our VBA code. Okay. Once we have created our index worksheet, I'm going to click on the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, please check the link in the description and check out the link in the card. It will redirect you to a video where you will learn how to add developer tab in Microsoft Excel. Once you have added your developer tab, you will have to click on the visual basic. Then you will have to click on insert and then module. Then write the code. This is the first part of our code. Okay. This code is already prepared. If your worksheet name is index, it will work perfectly. If you don't have your worksheet as index, you will have to create one. Okay. Once you have added this code, then you have to click on the index worksheet. Okay. Double click there and your new code window will appear. Okay. Here you will have to write a two line code, which is this one. It's actually trigger the VBA code we have added earlier. Whenever you click on the index worksheet, it will run the VBA code. And once you run the VBA code, it will automatically create a clickable index. Okay. So our code is ready. I'm going to close the VBE and now we are going to test it. I'm going to create a new worksheet. So I'm going to click here on this plus and our new worksheet is created. Okay. If I click on the index worksheet, you can see our index is created here. Okay. Now let's rename the new worksheet to accounts. Now if I click on the index worksheet, you can see our worksheet name is also renamed here. Okay. So let's create another worksheet and rename it as sales. If I click on the index worksheet, you can see our two worksheet is added. The first one is sales and the second one is accounts. Okay. Now, if I delete the accounts worksheet, you can see our accounts worksheet has been removed from here. This is what I wanted to show you. The code will be linked in the video description and you can copy it from there. Hope you like the video. Please share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. If you can support the channel through Patreon and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.